Cuckoos Podcast. Three Cuckoos Podcast. Three Cuckoos Podcast. Three Cuckoos Podcast. Hello and welcome to this week's Three Cuckoos Podcast Talks The Walking Dead. This week we're on Season 7, Episode 13. My name's Rob, this is Mark. And this episode is called Bury Me Here, which is exciting in itself. I was very impressed when I heard that it was called Bury Me Here. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we've got to be careful here in the UK because it's aired a day earlier in the US. And the papers over here like to spoil it for everyone, which is great. I just try and avoid all that. It's just a... a, a yeah. I can stay off Twitter and everything. You've got to stay off Twitter, Facebook, everything. It's like totally a, try and avoid it. a different zone altogether. So this episode revolves around Morgan. Pretty much Morgan. Uh, and Richard. Richard, there they are, look. Uh, and Benjamin. Obviously, spoiler alert, if you've not seen it, turn this on. Oh, yeah, God, yeah, Watch full it of later. Spoilers. Not like the Broadchurch one, because that's not full of spoilers, because we don't know what's going on. No, we don't know what's going on. <laughs> no idea. That's the Broadchurch video. If you're watching this and you like Broadchurch, go watch that as well. Or yeah. Or just leave a like for the hell of it. Hey, what, whatever. While you're there. Um, so, yeah, obviously, Morgan has been very quiet. One of your favourite characters, Mark. <sighs> <laughs> Whenever Morgan's in it, nothing happens. No, um, but he's a sleeping giant. Because Mark. to injure one's enemy is to injure oneself. Really, that's what he thinks. Is that's what he's, obviously that's he's, written in his book, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously, we are in the kingdom for this episode. Mm. Um, Carol's having night terrors. Well, it was you know that was Daryl, boring Daryl's last words, wasn't it, to Morgan before he left, get him to fight. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm off. He's got to fight. No. But Richard's got a vendetta against the world and everyone in it. Um, well, Richard's on the side of Rick. He wants the f- yep. he wants it to be a fight. And he's, he's going to, you know, make yep. it happen. Walking around in his laser tag shirt. <laughs> laser tag? I think he looks like a reject from the Power Rangers. He, he looks like he's just about to play what we used to call Quasar, he Mark. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. Yep. When your guns never worked. They all do, don't you they? used to run around in a smoke-filled room. They've got some impressive weapons, then. What? The big jolly guy. He's got a bloody oh, battle axe. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Looks like someone from Hero Quest. So, obviously, we are at the kingdom. Ezekiel has got his tiger with him. He's good. I love Ezekiel. He's good as Ezekiel. What is it about Ezekiel? That he's it's so cool. tiger you like. I love his tiger. And his massive dreads. It's not a euphemism. Love his tiger. Um, he's, Yeah, his dreads. And his coat. Uh, he's a badass. Mm-hmm. He just looks awesome. And he's not a badass. He's a lovely fella. Well, he wants what's best, doesn't he? He does. He wants what's... Don't we all? Don't we all, yeah. Mark? Story, yeah, yeah, story yeah. of my life, pal. Um, so, yeah, now we also focus a lot around Benjamin, who's the young lad who Morgan's training up to be a stick fatter. <laughs> and his merry men. Everything points at Benjamin in this episode, early doors. Mm-hmm. You've got... He's going to see the saviours, and he's saying goodbye to his brother, <laughs> and he's handing a painting to Morgan. Put this on your wall, Morgan. Here are my last, <laughs> the things I hold dearest. Please look after them for me. And he's also talking to Carol. He's in nearly every single scene. Um, and you're thinking not to call The Walking Dead predictable because it's not. But the writing was on the wall for <laughs> for Benjamin, wasn't it's it? Not predictable. No, it's not. I wouldn't have thought so. But it, but it, it is to a certain extent, isn't it? But to a certain point, I said. Exactly what was going to happen in that episode. Okay, so the the idea is Richard obviously wants something to happen now. He's upset. He's obviously lost a lot in his life, as they all have. Um, so, so it, well, it starts with the kingdom going to make make their regular drop off. Oh, there was and, a scene where they put a and don't we love a melon to the back of a van? Yes, just several the one. times. Just the one. That was start. That's obviously how it started. Um, Taking the so the the regular drop off is apparently twelve melons a week, and I. I love the drop off, don't you? Yeah, it's exciting. There's a lot of. It's like a drug deal. Oh, it's it's in a dark car park. It's sinister, isn't it? And then obviously the leader of the gang, who I don't really know who is he is. To be fair, I don't really know his name. Do you? Gavin. Gavin. We'll call him Gavin. You've just read. Have <laughs> you just is read that? There? It's his just name. said that on there. Um, <laughs> he so, he wasn't very well cast. No, well you didn't think so, did it was you? Weak. It was a bit. Well, I think a he bit, is. He looked a bit scared. To I me. think he's scared that something's going to kick off, and he's responsible. He's the man who's got to keep know, it all together. People aren't like that. And you've got the rat-faced prick. What's he called? Ga- Jared. Jared. Right. Okay. So, and he's the one who's going to start a war. He's the one who's got tensions flaring. There's always going to be tensions flaring. He hates Richard. He's got yeah, Morgan's they've stick. Had, they've had they've had words before, didn't they? 
Give the man his stick. So it turns out that there's one melon short. Oh, no. Not a melon short. What am I going to do without my morning well, you see, after, the, after On the way there, yep. the road was blocked. Oh, it was. With some shopping trolleys, which I didn't actually notice until they started moving them. They were in an arrow. In the shape of an arrow. Yeah, they were. I quite enjoyed that. that. So they yep. followed the arrow and they went round. Yep. And there was an open grave. Yep, there was. With a sign. Saying. Bury me here. Yep. Now, we'd obviously seen Richard at the start of the episode. We did. Shifty, we were not shifty, digging around. That's just his face. Burying a backpack that said Katie. Katie, yeah. Well, I, I actually thought he was digging a grave. I did think he was digging a grave. Well, I, I thought he was burying that. Like he thought it was his daughter's? Yeah. Was it his daughter's? Yes. Was it? He told his sub story to yeah, he did. Morgan later on. I didn't, I didn't know she was called Katie. I missed that bit. Um, I didn't think, well, yeah. So, yeah, so they had to stop. And he was he was calling the shots. Yep. Everyone put the guns up. Put your guns up. And he was the last, wasn't he? He was the last to join the pack. Cover. All right. Fine. He was at the back. And you sussed it, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it straight away. You sussed see it. what was going on. This is what's going to happen. He's had words before. He had words with that rat for his prick. Last. Jared. Yeah. I mean, not last episode, but one of the other episodes. So he was going... This is what I said. This is what we're saying to Catherine. He's got the melon. Or he's hidden the melon. He's going to... There's going to be a kickoff. He's going to die. Yeah. And that's what's going to start the war. I didn't know he'd hidden the melon. I, I knew he'd dug the grave. I knew he'd set it up because we'd kind of seen him do it. Um, Once, as soon as it said there's a melon shot, I was like, Oh, you he's melon, got the melon stealing bastard. He's got the melon. And of course, he stood there with the gun to his head. Yep. No, I want him. <sighs> Benjamin shot stood Benjamin in the background. In, shot he was Benjamin in the, in the leg. He was in the back I mean, of the shot. Fucking shot. Coral's been shot twice. Oh, he kind of shot Once him in, in the, the eye. Did he shoot him in the groin? It was like a hip kind of... But still. Lower abdomen kind of shot, Where else did he get it? shot in the stomach? I, he, Coral. Uh, uh, Coral's been shot two. many times. He's still alive. More's he is. The he's, very, he's very much still alive. More's the pity. His so he just got isn't. shot and, and, you know, they had yep. to run away. No, oh, they to did. To get him some help. Yep. Where was the nearest place? Carol's house. Carol's gaff. Carol's gaff. She was in the middle of making a peach cobbler. Again? What is it with the peach cobbler? <laughs> Good grief, we all love a cobbler. Reading a leather bound book in the window. <laughs> but there's far too much cobbler kicking around. Doing some knitting. You can't win a war on cobbler. A, middle of a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Carol's knitting some booties knitting. for fucking Judith. There's zombies just walking around in, in full wool wear. For 19 year old mute Judith. <laughs> <laughs> 19 year old. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's my impression of Don't Judith. Don't say a word, Judith. That's my impression of Judith. I think they've taken her tongue out. The Do actress, you think so? Yeah. Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? I think they've just tranquilised her, maybe. Poor, poor Judith. <laughs> poor Judith. Um, so, yeah, um, I love the big guy. What's the big guy's name? I don't name? know what the big guy's name is. Ezekiel looked at him and went, leave the cobbler. And he went, oh, what? And he went, oh, forget it. Just eat your cobbler and shut up. It's good. He carries a battle axe <laughs> around with him. There's far, there's far too much cobbler in this series. He carries a battle axe, man. He's cool. Yep, absolutely. Um, what are you looking at? I was looking for his name, but I'm still on Broadchurch. Right. You're still on Broadchurch. I was going to say I, re- it's I didn't realise until I got down to Sock O'Brien. <laughs> Is his name Sock O'Brien? Um, so, yeah, obviously, Jared pulls the gun, uh, yep. shoots Benjamin. Yep. They all got Garrel's gaff. And Garrel's. Then, Garrel's ga- calf. Garrel. Uh, Garrel's calf. They all got a Daryl's. No, wait. Girl. Carol. A cup of tea. Carol, her gaff. They all go there. <laughs> I mean, he bleeds out all over her floor. She's never going to get that off. You know what would get that off? Some cobbler. <laughs> that would get, get those stains out. No stretch. No stretch. Hey, she's got time to kill. Time to kill. Let's scrub those floorboards. So, um, yeah, obviously she's pissed. Because she's found out now what's happened at Alexandria. Whoa, whoa, how well, far are you jumping ahead here? Well, she asked Morgan, didn't she? What's happened? What's going well, on? Well, then Morgan went a bit batshit oh, mental, didn't he? Did he ever? Did he ever? So what happened then, then? <laughs> Obviously, they said, we want that melon. I want that melon. We're not leaving until we've got that melon. So they decide that they're going to take the melon the next day. No more melon. No less melon. One, one melon. One melon. One. one melon only. It was a cantaloupe, wasn't it? I know my melons. Do you? Yeah. I, wouldn't. I don't it's like a, melon. It's a cantaloupe melon. It's always a bit depressing, his melon. It's never as nice as it looks really juicy. It's, it's a really melon depressing. It's just boring. It's not as nice as you think it's going to be. All right, let you down. Yeah, yeah. It's never. It doesn't taste 
Enough. Mark's melon woes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Fill it goes bonkers again. Oh man, it goes mental. Again, like yeah. he did when? What, episode three? So they go for the trade, one melon. Hang on. So hang on. I thought, so we, I thought we were there. No. Right, go so on. He then. goes mental before that. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Well, of course. Oh, there's that weird cut scene, isn't there? Yeah, see, it's like so. Episode three Strange. of the entire thing. Yeah. It, it goes a bit mental then, because of course he's, he's already his wife's already outside knocking on doors to come in, <laughs> trying to eat them. Yeah. And his son dies, doesn't he? When she's peering through the peephole. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And so he just goes mental and starts shouting and screaming, and then there was that really half-assed kick. On that bucket, which I thought was a bit pathetic. But that was the revelation. Melon. Richard's melon. Melon. Then he realised then. He put he put two and two together and got Richard. He did. I knew. I could have written that. Yeah, you could have written that. I could have warned them before they even started all that. And then Richard. Melon. Count Ri- them melons. Richard. The thing that gets me, they're all sitting back with melons. Did no one think there's a melon gone? So they all got out to move the tro- What is wrong with you? They all got out to move the trolleys. They all got back in with the melons. Did no one think there's not enough melons here? <laughs> I just wanna, can we count the amount of times Mark's just said melon? That would be brilliant. Melon. We should put a melon count. Ding. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you drew a face on it, Mark, and <laughs> palmed it off as one of their... I don't know. I've no idea. So he I'd obviously, be counting them constantly. Well, you would if it meant that much. Ezekiel had counted the melons. No. This is impossible. I've counted the melons. Yeah, you counted them in. Yeah, you did. You counted them when you got back in the truck. You can count them out. Someone just take a melon count before we set off. Again, after yeah. we've moved the trolleys. Again, count the melons. Do I have to count the melons? Just count the melons. Is count that the, what you mean? Count the melons. Who was responsible for counting the melons? Count the melons. Benjamin. So he's, he's gone. Mel- Morgan's gone. He's flipped out. He has. And he kicked over a bin. He did. And there was a melon underneath <laughs> There was a melon. <laughs> what are their chances? A cantaloupe melon. Told you it was a cantaloupe. So he realises it's Richard's fault. Ugh. He's trying to start a war. What a bastard. And it's his fault that Benjamin's dead. Yep. Benjamin. Yep. So he goes back to have a word in Richard shell like. Yep. Who then tells him his sob story. He does, and it's a good story. It is. Have me gripped. About the camp and the tarps. Yep. And the babies crying. Oh. There's always babies crying, Rob. Constantly day and night. They're having Tim's now. It's because there's a lack of cobbler. <laughs> that's why. They're making up for it now. You think that's what they'll do? That's right. Do you think uh, when it comes to the, the fight, because I presume there's going to be a fight at some point, do you think they'll load like catapults up with cobbler <laughs> and shoot them at Negan? You'll never get through this sticky cobbler. <laughs> possibly. Very possibly. Maybe they'll dig trenches like a moat. Anyway, that's just a, a pipe dream. Maybe they'll dig a moat around the hilltop <laughs> and fill it, and fill with, it cobbler. with cobbler. There's worse ways to die. In Drowning cobbler. in cobbler. Yeah. Get that. What's his name? The guy with the battle axe. He could just go and eat him. Oh there, yeah, it? he's brill. He's brilliant. That guy. So he dis- So yeah. <laughs> so he says yeah. He says this is it now. We've started it now. Yep. And he thought obviously it was going to be him that was going to be killed. He was just going to take it. It was going to get Morgan back into action, and what he was going to sacrifice himself. This is himself. it, Morgan. You have to kill. You might as well kill yourself. Yep, exactly. He'd already thought of that. He'd he had already, a knife to his wrist. He'd, he'd done a really bad job of that, let's <sighs> be honest. But it was dramatic. I like the cuts as well. The cuts away and the cuts to... And it just made it look a bit frenzied and a bit all crazy, went, all didn't it? Back to, right back to the, right to the it, beginning. It did, and there was a lot Rick of... Yeah. His, his son and yeah. then him, him travelling on his own. I liked that, didn't you? I thought it was good. I liked the way it was panned out and it, it showed his wife quick flashes of his, his missus and stuff. I don't like... Well, the way Morgan's character's gone, mm. but that doesn't mean to say that I think that Lenny James is a bad joke. I think he's a fantastic oh, actor. Oh, he's a great and actor. And he's done really well with it. And he was brilliant. Brilliant last night. It was phenomenal. Yeah, I agree. It was really excellent. And then, of course, the uh, woman, the larger lady with the dungarees, mm. broke the news to the king that they've got weevils. No, oh, not weevils. They have to cut and burn everything. Yeah, that was right at the start of the episode, wasn't it, when was they it? were loading the melons? Oh, right. They, well. were, they were loading the melons. And, and I uh, thought we were halfway through. No, it was definitely. Give him some more bad start. news. Well, she said she pissed her pants anyway. Yeah, the, can I go now? I've pissed my pants. Because I think I've pissed myself. You like the tiger, don't you? I love the tiger. More tiger, please. Very expensive tiger. <laughs> you could think imagine. It, do you think it'll be in it more? Yeah, I'd like to see it in more. I'd like to see it eat someone, Mark. That would be good. I don't think it's in it much because it's probably expensive. Yes, I agree. <laughs> it's not a man in a suit. It's not a deer either that they can cook <laughs> and paste. It is. 
It's well, not it, a real tiger. No, it, well, it is, but they've clearly spent more money on the tiger. They spent more on that than they did on that deer. It's more impressive than the deer. And that green screen. Yeah, well, that's good as well. With the bloody Goodyear blimp flying <laughs> over his head or whatever. <laughs> that it was. was good. It was um, an American Airlines flight to Washington. Was it? No, I have no idea. Oh. Um, so, yeah, obviously, Richard fesses up and Morgan thinks, do you know what? You're right. Kill? Oh, you might as well kill yourself. So he does kill. And they go back the next day with yeah. the one melon. With the one melon. No more. I bet someone counted it. No less. Before they got there. I think Ezekiel had counted it at least once or twice. Yeah. Excuse me while I readjust myself. I'm not wearing the pyjamas tonight. <laughs> He's not in his pyjamas tonight. Um, yep, so they got there. They did. Obviously. Again, standoff, tense. Very tense. I oh, love the standoff. Gavin had told Jared to pack his bags. But Jared was Walk a, back oh, for I kill you myself. And the silence. And how's, he just looked at him, didn't he? How's the young lad? You've embarrassed me. How's the boy? Oh, how's the boy? And no one answered. No one answered. He's dead, isn't he? Dramatic effect. And they just looked at him. Start walking or I'll kill you myself. Oh, I thought it was going to kill him. I thought it was going to do him. Maybe the tiger will get him. Oh, I'd love that. <clears throat> I'd love that. Um, so, yeah, obviously, he, so he goes. He does start walking. Yeah, he did. He walked away. Yep. And, and then all of a sudden, Morgan flips well, out. Morgan's got two sticks at this point. Yeah. So you think, is he going to kick off? And as soon as he starts walking forward, you think, yes. Huh? Um, but he picks on Richard. <laughs> he did. He hit him with his stick. Whams him. And then he just strangled him. Yep. And then banged his head on the floor a couple of times. And then <laughs> just kept, kept strangling him. It was pretty brutal, wasn't That's it? Really? He's killed a person for... At least two series, I would have said. Probably. Yeah, I would have said I don't think so. he's killed anyone since he met that. Shaolin master. Met the Zen dude. Ninja. Yeah. Yeah. Since he's not killed anyone since then, has he? No, he used to make pancakes, didn't he, that guy? Yeah. He used to make, yeah, Morgan some pancakes. I good. mean, yeah. And I said that he was, you know, this is coming. This is, something has to happen to his character because he can't remain a pacifist um, when we know what's coming anyway. And people have been trying to draw him out of this for quite a while. So it had to, there was a trigger point somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And like you said, he used... Dwight's name instead of Benjamin. Obviously, Dwight was his younger son, yeah. uh, and he and he dropped that in, which yeah. was quite clever. I thought yeah. it was it was yeah it was it was a brilliant brilliant performance. Really, really good, good. performance. He was so upset. It was excellent, excellent. It was brilliant. So he told everybody what Richard had done. Yep, in front of the saviors as well. And but he then, takes him away. Yeah, but drags him through town. But he also said, didn't he? He also said, "This is us showing you that we know the score." We know what to do. And it's, and it's just luring them in. Yeah. And that's what they said, wasn't it? We've yeah. got to lure them in and just give them that false sense that everything's okay. Yep. He um, dragged him off. Yep. He buried him where he wanted to be buried. He did, yeah. Found the backpack. He did. Buried that as well. Yep. And then he killed some zombies. Some kind of Shaolin master. Oh, he went. He? he just went nuts, didn't he? It was great. Taking it Enjoyed all out that. on them. Yep. Go on with your stick. And then he went to Carol, didn't he? Carol. Yep. Did. And... Told her everything. Yeah. Told her Daryl had lied. Oh, Daryl. Daryl's in trouble. Oh, no Darryl. cobbler for you, Daryl. No more cobbler. Cobbler death. You've had enough of Carol's cobbler. <laughs> Actually, I don't think he likes Carol's cobbler, does he? I don't think he. I don't think he's a cobbler kind of guy. Daryl. No. no, he doesn't strike me as a cobbler kind of guy. Didn't she make him a stew? I think he probably prefers or spicy a soup. sausage. It's cheap, allegedly. That is cheap. Yeah. Um, so obviously Morgan then walks off in a. Well, they wanted to take her, didn't they? In a rage. Come on, we'll go to Alexandria. I'll take you. Yeah. You're not going on your own. Let's kill shitloads of zombies on the way. For fun. She was like, "No, you wait here. All right then. Oh you yeah. Wait here and sharpen your stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, I will. Yep. And then she walks off. She goes to the kingdom. She does to see Ezekiel. Ezekiel, the who's master, planting tomatoes with Benjamin's brother. Yep, the king. King Ezekiel. I'd call him the king, definitely. That fat man told him to call him the king, didn't he? He did, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't speak down to the king. Or yeah. what did he say? You don't speak. You call him the king. You don't speak back to the king or something like that, didn't he? You don't interrupt the king. And what were her words without looking at that? Whose? Carol's to Ezekiel. Oh, well, she said, we must fight. We have to get ready. Is that what she said? We yeah, have we have to ready. fight. Ezekiel says, yeah. Well, he agreed. But not today. Not today. Today we're playing tomatoes. It's like he's here. Is he here? <laughs> she. She. She, Carol. Love Ezekiel. He's brilliant. 
Do you think he's going to ride his tiger into battle? I'd love it if he rode the tiger again, like into battle. Ride the tiger! I'd love it if he rode the tiger into battle. It'd be ace. On like a slow-mo. Like He-Man. Yeah. Like one of those 120 frames per second so they've slowed it right down and it's brilliant. So, My mic's given up. So, they're in. They're in. Get the boys in. I can't wait. So next week, because the Hilltop's got to come into it, hasn't it? They've Surely. got to, yeah. Surely, because Maggie's got a score, so... Right, well, the thing is, there's only three episodes left. Oh, so no, we've got to get yeah. the Hilltop in, and there's going to be some all-out war in the next three episodes. Is it Gregory who's running the Hilltop? He Gregory. thinks he's running the Hilltop. He's running the Hilltop. Right. Hilltop. Maggie's running the Hilltop. <laughs> well, she's going to have she to off be. Gregory. Yeah. Because he'll grass them up. Well, you see, she's going to be Mummy Maggie soon. So I think she's going to just go into, like, this... No, because the next episode... Parliamentary role. The next episode won't be about Hilltop. I'm afraid to tell you. Will it be about Sasha? It'll be about Sasha and Rosita. Yep. The one's name you can't remember. Going Espinosa. to kill Negan. And it'll also be about Daryl. Right, okay. Because he's not been in it for a couple of episodes. Been in it. But then Coral's not been in it for a while. Good. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's it, like you said, his time's coming. You would have thought he's, he's going to be good. in an episode. <sighs> Maybe they'll have him and mute Judith in it. <laughs> I don't like it when Judith's in it. I've said this she's before. She's not a baby anymore. I, I don't care. She's in it the other week. She's like nine year old. I don't like it. Makes me feel insecure. Just think of this. Of this I'm always zombie. looking around when I'm watching. Just think of this zombie apocalypse, Rob, and how many babies have been eaten. I, d- I don't want to know, Mark. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> it's a lot. Just keep talking about Cobbler. Everything's fine. So, did you enjoy it? Yeah, oh, very much so. Did yes. You? Yes. It was- I thought... I think Ezekiel, the guy who plays Ezekiel, is a fantastic actor. I think Lenny James is a fantastic actor. Um, and, and bringing it all together was great. Hmm? And Richard had to bite it, didn't he? Yeah. He was he was just treading Causing water. Something was going to happen. Exactly, he can't leave it. And I get it. I understand that. I don't know, because the thing is, he was on their side. What do you I mean? know he was doing it the wrong way, but he wanted yeah. to fight back against the saviors, which is the, what, the, the, what they're all going to do now. I know, and but he was... thought they'd want everybody... But all the manpower they could get. You'd think he'd be kind of sticking with Rick because Rick's on that path. Mm. And now he, he knows this. He's he's figured that out. Mm. Um, but I don't, I don't think Rick would have cared how um, they got the kingdom involved. It wouldn't have mattered to him no, it whether didn't. it had been a fight out there or no, exactly. this way. So I don't know. I don't know. I just I, I wonder when the battle's going to come. And like you said, it's... When? It's, Episode 16. But is it going to be... And it'll be a cliffhanger for the next season. It'll be them literally starting the plan. Yeah. And that'll be it then. No, no. They'll go to war. Oh, do you think yeah, so? they'll go to war. Do you think it'll start? I think it'll start. And then it'll finish. Yeah. Oh. And it'll leave you for a whole year. Yeah, probably. Probably. Half a year. I've got to admit though, yeah, like Game of Thrones disappears for literally 12 months. This doesn't seem to do that. Although this will be the, the end of the season, won't it? Yeah, but it's only off till, what, November? Um, yeah, it's still it's still long enough. What is it, six months? Yeah. Po- yeah, around six months. It's a long time to wait. And I remember last season you were saying that it couldn't go on much longer. Mm. They need to bring this to an end. It's a bit kind of, to be fair, right, at that point I think it was diluting the story wasn't it where did they go on after but this but at this at this moment in time bringing Negan into it and everything been, it's got just the greatest been brilliant and where did they go after this obviously there's comics but I don't know I don't know I don't read the comics I'm not one of the comic people I don't read either. Um, it's interesting to know that Morgan is dead in the comics is that mm-hmm. true yeah Michonne so, killed him Michonne killed him you see that's it's kind of cool to know that they were together in the comics and he were gets they? bitten so she chops his head off really mm-hmm. So he was going to die anyway. Yeah. So she did. It was like a mercy kill, was it? It was in the comic, right. Okay. Yeah, cause wow. They were, they were they were ex partners, or whether they were still. I don't Michonne know. Michonne and Morgan, and now it's Michonne and Rick. What a so difference! Nice. What a difference there. I know. So yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know who else is going to who else is going to get killed. Well, they've already killed three, four, five main cast members off this right. season. In this in this half of the season or this season? Well, they, no, they killed Abraham and. Glenn. Glenn off right at the start. Yep. They've killed Richard off. Yep. They killed Benjamin. Benjamin. In this one. Um the the ex she was Alexandria her uh, son. Think Negan beat him to death. Yes. Yeah, I know who you're talking so that's about. Five. Yep. Can't oh the, the woman on the porch. Six. She got it. She wasn't a main character, but yes. No, she won't. Um Yeah, very good. Quite a lot. 
I agree. Just want to see what Eugene's up to as well. Yeah. Oh, and the Doctor in the Furnace. That was brilliant. He wasn't the main character. No, was he it? wasn't. No. He was so like what the would one you on give the it out of 13? I loved it. And I thought it looked great as well. I thought it was all done so, so well. It was very mean and moody, wasn't it? Out of 13? Look at his face. You're talking 10 or 11, Mark. It was great. Oh, yeah, it was good. It was great. Good solid 10. Very good, yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Some great TV. We're being spoiled, aren't we? We are at the moment. Yeah. It's been brilliant. All right. Well, if you love listening to us ramble on about The Walking Dead, because we love to talk about The Walking Dead, then leave a like. Yeah. Or uh, subscribe. That'd or be good. Comment as well. You yeah, know, if there's, comment. If there's something we've think. missed out, if there's an opinion you've got about what's going to happen, are we going to get full scale war at the end? Yeah. Like the whole thing? Is it going to end? End? Yeah. Tell us what you think in the comments. We'd love to hear that. Below. And share it. Yes. If we share it on Facebook and you follow us on Facebook or Twitter, share it. Do all the things. Retweet. All right. Thanks for listening. But The Walking Dead's going to be here next week. And so are we. All right. Yeah. So we'll see you soon. Freak the Goons Podcast.